Priced at just under 10,000 pesos, the Huawei Y70 is packing a 6.39 inch hole punch display, triple rear cameras, a 4,000 milliamp battery, and a Kirin 710F chipset. But aside from perhaps a newer chipset, this phone is missing something. To find out, keep watching this full review. The Huawei Y7P comes in two colors, namely Midnight Black and Aurora Blue. Our unit here is in the latter and we must say the 2.5D curved visual effect is pleasing to look at. The rear of the phone shows off a metallic-like radiant color when it catches the light. Upon first glance and touch, the Y70 seems to be made of glass, but actually it's a polycarbonate material. Still, this kind of build makes it have a slight premium feel. Up front, the Y7P's display has slim bezels all over, apart from the chin portion which is thicker than the rest. Huawei has incorporated a hole punch front camera on the upper left corner and nicknamed this type of display as a punch full view display. Over at the rear, the Y7P has a triple camera setup placed on the upper left corner. The camera bump slightly protrudes from the phone's body, and due to that, the Y7P wobbles when set on a flat surface. The circular fingerprint scanner is also located here at the rear. On the left side, we get the dual SIM tray with a dedicated micro SD slot. Meanwhile, on the right is the volume rocker and power button. The placement of the buttons is just right, and both of them are clicky as well. Up top, we have the secondary microphone, and last but not least, at the bottom are the primary microphone, headphone jack, and unfortunately for Type-C fans, we get a micro USB port. Checking out the display, the Y70 sports a 6.39 inch panel with an HD plus resolution. It would have been nice to have a full HD plus resolution for this device seeing its screen to body ratio. However, since the Y7P is a device sitting between the entry level and mid range, the HD plus resolution is expected. Despite the limited resolution, color production is quite satisfying and details appear somewhat sharp enough for normal usage as well. For audio, the Y7P has a single downward firing speaker. It can get loud and fill up a room at maximum volume. Highs and mids are present, but the lows dip in and out once in a while. Still, the audio sounds passable, although it can get distorted at times. Now checking out the cameras. The Y7P has a triple rear camera setup, again, composed of a 48 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultrawide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Meanwhile, in the hole punch module up front is an 8 megapixel selfie shooter. Images produced by the primary rear camera look decent with a good amount of detail and sharpness to them. The colors look acceptable under ample lighting, however, they have a muted tone to them under low light situations. Wide angle photos have a subtle fisheye effect to them, while colors appear more muted as well. For portrait shots, subject background separation is present and it's actually fairly good. As for selfies, the photos produced have a slight amount of noise to them. The sharpness of the details aren't the best, but they're not terrible either. They're pretty useful for social media posting, and similar to the rear cameras, the front camera's subject background separation for portrait mode also looks decent. For video, the Y7P can shoot up to 1080p at 30fps. Focus lock is rather terrible, and as with most cases, we recommend using either a tripod or a monopod or gimbal for better stabilization. Now, out of the box, the Y7P runs on EMUI 9.1 based on Android 9 Pie. Here's an important thing to note. The Y7P does not have any Google mobile services installed. Instead, the device comes with Huawei mobile services and comes with a host of apps including App Gallery, which is pretty much the Huawei equivalent of the Google Play Store. But as there's no GMS, apps like YouTube, Facebook, Google Drive Office Suite, and the like aren't pre-installed on the device. And if you're looking for these apps, you'll need to find ways to install them on your own. And for other apps that you'd usually get from the Play Store, you'll have to resort to the old APK method. Under the hood, the Huawei Y7P is armed with a Kirin 710F chipset paired with 4GB of RAM. We ran the Y7P through our usual benchmarks and yielded these following results. Usual navigation, swiping through apps, web and social media browsing, and such ran smoothly without any issues. Although you might want to take some caution when running multiple apps all at once because it can get sluggish. Gaming-wise, we encountered some limitations. While we were able to play Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 without much stutters or frame drops, the graphics were set to the lowest level. For biometrics, the Y7P has a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner as well as face unlock. Both work pretty well and we didn't encounter any issues when testing them out. Checking out the battery life of the Y7P, we put it through the PCMark Work 2.0 battery benchmark test. 
The Y7P's 4000 mAh battery totaled 19 hours and 21 minutes, which actually is pretty good. With its included 10 watt charger and micro USB cable, it took us about 2 hours to charge it from zero to full. So to wrap up, the Y7P is a rather decent smartphone that sits right between the entry level and mid range segments. For its price tag of 9,990 pesos, you get a visually pleasing design, triple rear cameras that produce good images, sufficient battery life, and fairly competent performance. However, the Y7P has one big issue that isn't easy to ignore, and that would be its lack of Google mobile services. Sure, there are ways to work around that issue, and Huawei, after all, does have HMS. It's still an issue that's quite cumbersome to deal with. If the lack of GMS doesn't deter you from getting the device, then go right ahead and cop the Y7P as it's still quite a pretty good device. Although if you are uncertain in dealing with all that no GMS issue, you may want to consider other phones such as the Realme 5 and Honor 20 Lite that are in the same price range as the Y7P. So that wraps it up for our review of the Huawei Y7P. Let us know what you guys think about this phone in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon to see future uploads, and be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey and stay hydrated.